Good morning, friends. Today we will cook gabi leaves. This one, like what I cooked before, I cook ginataang gabi. But now I will cook uh, with some palo. So this is very good for us poor people. So we don't have to spend so much money. And what is gabi gabi in English? Gabi is known as taro in English. And let us discuss first about taro root. What is taro root? What you see in the picture. Taro root contains a very significant amount of dietary fiber and carbohydrates. Actually, it has more carbohydrates than the potato, as well as high levels of vitamin A, C, vitamin E, B6, and folate, as well as magnesium, iron, zinc, phosphorus, potassium, manganese, and copper. And now let us discuss about taro leaves, this one, or gabi leaves. Taro leaves is also excellent in source of fiber. It improves heart health, blood sugar levels, and uh, it maintains the weight and gut health. Besides vitamin C, taro leaves are rich in vitamin A. And now let's cook! Before cooking our gabi, we will peel the stem. We will only get the stem because the leaves are good for kinataan or putting uh, coconut milk. So we have to dry this first. But now we will cook the stem only because we will cook it with tamarind or some palo. So we call that inasimang gabi. Okay, let's start. Now this is our finished uh, peeled stem of uh, gabi or taro gabi and these leaves we will dry them so we could cook them tomorrow with coconut milk but now uh, since we will only cook this we will only be needing tamarind and then salt and paguong misda I made it myself this is made out of uh, tirong, the small fish that I cook with mango, and I just put salt. So, after a month, this is our uh, baguong isda. I have my own baguong isda. So, this is my father's favorite. Let's cook it! We will put this amount of water to our pot. And we will boil this for maybe 5 to 10 minutes and then we will put our gabi already. Stem of the gabi. If you notice friends, my hand got stained from peeling the gabi, the stem of the gabi. So to avoid this, you should wear plastic glove or just ordinary plastic I just didn't do it because I'm in a hurry so for you to avoid this stain you should wear plastic okay now we will boil this for five minutes and then let me put the stem already
five minutes has already passed and look our water is boiling already so now it's time to put the gabi after 30 minutes of boiling this the heat has gone away we will put the go on is that So I only cook little because there's only four of us to eat this my two children and daddy I will boil this first for 30 minutes again by then it is well cooked and ready While I'm cooking, I have to dry the leaves here. Tomorrow, I will cook this with coconut milk and I will put fried fish. Mm. Well, something now? Uh? We will put a go on with that. Since it's been boiling for 30 minutes already, we can put the go on with that. See? And after the go on with that, that's where, that's when we will put our tamarind. See what we will do with our bago on. We have to do this so that the meat, will, the taste of the meat will go to the soup. Okay. But now, if you are, you don't have your own baguong, you can buy the liquid already. It is bottled. There's no more bones. They call it boneless baguong. You can buy that so you can put it directly to whatever you are cooking. So this one is better because there's still some meat like this. So the bone is the is loved by Ilocanos. My father is Ilocano and my mother is Picolana. So, uh, my father loved eating Sinampalukang Gabi while my mother loved eating Ginataang Gabi. So, since they're opposite, my mother used to cook Ginataan and Inasimang Gabi. So, I have to wash our tamarind first before putting it here. Now, we have to cook our tamarind. We have to put it now. But after for a few minutes that it is soft already, we have to squeeze it also and take out the peel and, and seeds. So, we will put it now. Let's uh, let it boil for 3 minutes. Now that our sampalok or tamarind are already cooked, we can squeeze them now, friends. Like this. You get them all and then... We squeeze them. Uy, this is good. You know, actually, not all people love sour food. But my father loved it so much. Actually, he even get mango and just put water in it. Just uh, soak it with water and put some seasoning and salt. He loves that already.
then let's put the soap here. Let's get another water. This is gonna be a little bit sour, friends. But don't you know, many people love this. Even not all. Try it. Try this in your house. And especially if you have fried fish. Or just to you. Fried to you. Dried fish. Or dying. Uy. Good. So that's it. And now we will put... We will put salt. Little bit salt. Mm. Or a taste. Let's taste it. Mm, sarap. This is good. My husband doesn't used to eat this, but now he loves it. And then, we can put a little seasoning, so it will be delicious. Use a little seasoning pan, like that. Oh, that's good. So we can avoid UTI. Do not put too much seasoning. This is cook, friends. We will still boil it for maybe two minutes or three. And then let's cook, friends. We will eat it with rice. Let's see if it's boiling. Oh, it's boiling. See? Try, try this uh, kind of uh, cooking with the uh, laing or gabi, and it is good. Wow, let's cook. Okay, friends, let's eat. This is it. That's it, friends. Bye.